It's the Mega Millions drawing tonight before Eyewitness News at 11. I ran the test, I followed all the procedures, and I know it's hard to believe, but according to this, Tess has no DNA. No, the tests are wrong. It's a mistake. Do the test. We will do them again, but what I'm telling you is I've never had a test result like this. Not human? That's right. No. No, you're wrong, because she's more human than you and I are. She's, she's gentle, she's loving. Yes, uh, yes, and capable of things that I can't even begin to imagine. Where'd she come from, Jack? She came out of a hole. She came out of nowhere and just happened to look like the woman that you were in love with. So what? All I'm telling you is we have to consider the possibilities that Tess showing up here and Caleb showing up right after may not be a coincidence. Why won't you at least listen to me? Oh, you are twisted. I'm not gonna listen to your inane theory that Stephen's a vampire or a werewolf or Mother, alien. nothing about this is funny. I'm not kidding. Exactly. Which is why I am astounded at the lengths that you will go through to deny me a happiness. What? Come on! Allison, for the first time in God knows when, I have found someone who makes me feel extraordinary. Oh, get over it, Mother. Caleb is using you. How did Caleb get back? I mean, we, we all saw him die. He, he disappeared. He vanished, turned into nothing right, right, right in front right, right, of us. Right. Okay, I'm a lot newer to this whole vampire business, you know, this whole family tradition we have, so you need to share with me a bit. Is there any case, any chance, any story of some vampire being able to come back okay, from the okay. dead? Let me, let me think. When I think of all the old legends, I'm right. going back to Vlad the Impaler, who wasn't even really a vampire, but you see, the thing is, any vampire that was destroyed properly stayed that way. Oh, great. All right, okay. So we, we think out of the box a little bit. Maybe... Maybe this is some sort of evolutionary species evolving. I, I don't know. Maybe, but you know what's, what's most puzzling to me is that, that he's just not hiding. You know, he's, he came back as this big rock star, just putting him himself right, right up on right, our faces. Right, 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 that's a good point. Listen, maybe that's part of the answer, too. Maybe he... Serena printed out the lyrics from one of those songs. Wait a minute. This is it, right here. The gift. Finish what you started, boy, and don't leave them sleeping. I, I put out the call, sown all of my seeds, and now it's time for the reaping. One by one, watch them fall deep in the night. Feel me call and turn on the light. You're still falling. I'm, I'm the dream you keep reliving. Time's slipping, and it's taken toll. I'm the gift that keeps on giving. My fire's in your soul. Receive my gift to you. Just stay away from me. Relax. I was driving by, I, I saw a woman in distress. I don't know too much about cars, but I uh, figured I couldn't just pass you by. Turn on the lights. Crazy, all right, but we have already lived through Caleb once. I mean, barely. I don't know who this Caleb that you guys keep talking about is. The man that I care about is Stephen Clay. I don't care who he's going by right now. He is Caleb Morley, and he's very sexy, he's very seductive, very charming, and he will do anything that he can to get under your skin until you do everything he wants you to do, and then he will destroy you. You know what I think? I think that your boyfriend's been to one too many Star Trek convention and some of this nonsense and started to brainwash you. Oh, God. Look, the only reason he wants to get close to you is to see how close that you can get him to Rafe. Oh, 
Wow, if your intention was to insult me, you have succeeded. He really hates him. Well, another thing that Stephen and I have in common. You need to stop seeing him right now before he hurts you. Allison, you've made it totally clear that you don't care about me. Now's not a really good time to start pretending. No, I don't want anyone to get hurt, even you. I didn't, I don't mean it like that. I, I'm sorry. No, 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 you're not, and I probably deserved it. But the truth is, you don't know this man. You don't know him at all. You just met him. I feel like I have known him forever. He is so compassionate and has so much empathy. He knows how cruel your father was to me and how I deserve better than that. He understands the, the pain of having to sacrifice the relationship with my own child. He understands the, the torture of being cut out of my own husband's will in favor of some illegitimate child that he never even acknowledged. Oh my God, you told him about us? Well, not every, but uh, there's plenty of time for that. Mother, Mother, you have played right into his hands. Now he knows where you're vulnerable and he's gonna use it against all of us. This is the end of this conversation, all right? Good night. It's not really hard to uh, figure out what those words are supposed to mean. He wants everyone to worship him. Oh, yeah, he does. I can't stand the thought of Serena listening to that. You know what? Don't worry about Serena. You're her mother. You raised her well. She'll be fine. But, you know, that's just a song. I know. Anyway, but... I know. Problems. We have bigger problems, so let's... Cousin, let's just finish this whole thing off tonight, okay? I, I obviously kept all my stuff. I've got silver bullets in here somewhere. I've got everything. Wow. Okay. Trust you to combine slang and mail-order shopping. QBC. Quality vampire control. Come on. We did this together once before. We can do it again. No, that, that's what he wanted. I, I confronted him, and I did that, and I'm not going to make that mistake again, all right? Fine. We kind of made a mistake. We fell into his trap. But what do you want to do? You want to sit around here and wait till he comes after us? No, Let's no, go after No, him. I don't. I don't, all right? But, but we have to be smart about this. We have to be smart. There, there are still a lot of questions that need to be answered. Like, like, why aren't we sensing him the same way that we did before? All right? And, and, and why did he create this whole other in-your-face identity, huh? Okay, fine. You're right. You're right. It... Obviously, if he wanted us dead, we'd be dead by now. But I still think we have to strike. Now we have to go no, after No, no, I am not willing to take that risk until we figure out what his plan is. Fine! The longer we wait, though, the more people could die! Hey. She popped the hood. Let me take a look at it. walking around at night. It's not safe for you out here. What do you want from me? Do I have to beg? Is that it? Okay, I'll beg you, Caitlin, please. Please don't hurt me, please. I beg your pardon? Don't do this to me. You didn't give me a choice. I had to kill you or die myself, but I never meant to do it. I meant, never meant to hurt you. I, I swear it, please. Oh, you are a silly girl. Listen to me. Bob, this side works, but this side doesn't. When kids are sick, they have their own way of telling you. How can you possibly think that Tess has anything to do with Caleb? And where did she come from? How can she cure the incurable? I was dying, Jack. She put her hand on me, and she healed That's me. That's right. She's good, and she heals people. And then Caleb comes, and he destroys them. And you're saying that Tess isn't real? That she belongs to some kind of vampire? Come on, get the hell out of here. Get what out I'm of saying my house. to you is that there could be a connection. Hey, you're crazy. You saw him look at her. It was a coincidence, Fine. man. Fine. Then stop being a child and help me prove it. Oh, and what do you want me to do? Drive a stake through her heart? Destroy her? Come on, Ian. Listen to me. If anybody 
tries to come and hurt Tess. They're gonna have to come through me first. Come on, Jack. No, no. Ian, I love that girl. And I'm not gonna stand by while she gets lynched. Jack, why are you angry? No, no, Matt, no, no, no. Actually, what I was hoping for was um, any sort of strange disappearances, you know? People gone missing, or, or maybe some murders that you can't quite explain, you know? Yeah. Well, no, the reason I'm asking is, uh, well, hey, who else am I gonna ask? You are the police commissioner, so have there been? Oh, okay, Mac, you got me. I, I had a, um, a dream. You know my dreams? I, I had another one of those dreams, you know, and, and in the dream there were a lot of people being murdered in Port Charles and you couldn't solve, not, not that you're not brilliant, no offense, but you were having trouble solving it and so you came to me and I was very flattered, of course, that you would ask me. So, Mac, tell me, have there been any unusual disappearances or murders? Oh, darn, that's too bad. Nobody dying. No, 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 I, I don't mean it's too bad nobody's dying. I'm glad nobody's dying. It's just I'm curious. Okay, j just bear with me. Any kind of really b bloody murders, bloody crimes, or, or maybe bloodless, unexplainable bloodless... I, I know they'd probably be in a tabloid or a newspaper. I don't really read those. I, Mac, I'm your friend. See, what good does it do if you're my friend and you're the police commissioner if you won't give me any... Fine, Mac. Yeah, Mac. Tom, Mac. So, nothing, huh? So, nothing, huh, is right. Well, either Caleb isn't feeding or he's found some other way to sustain himself. Exactly. You know, he's definitely using his music, though, to worm his way into our subconscious. You, you know, don't forget, the first time I heard that song was at Kevin's hospital. That cannot be a coincidence. And he's sleeping with Allison's mother. That can't be a coincidence either, don't you? Hey. Hey. So any luck with Elizabeth? No, zero. Okay, Elizabeth is sleeping with him. Your mother is sleeping with no. him. Don't you have a problem with this? Yes, I do. And now she thinks that he hung the moon and the stars. Oh. And she's she's told him her entire life story and everything about us, too. And she's going to tell him more. Let's go. What? Wait, where, where are we going? Where are you two I going? Here. Well, I just think it's time that we put Caleb off balance. Okay, I'll explain on the way. You? Call me if you find out anything. I'll do the same, all right? All right, deal, Tizen. Um, Allison, bye. Thank you. Huh, the gift that keeps on giving. Huh. We are going to find out what you are up to, you evil monster. You okay? You saved my life. Well, I didn't see too many other options. You sure you're okay? What kind of game is this? Well, you got a funny way of showing your appreciation. What are you so afraid of? Why, why are you scared of me? You know why. Humor me. Pretend I have amnesia. At least uh, give me a chance to defend myself against whatever it is you think I did to you. No, I am not going to let you get inside my head again and twist me inside out. You did enough damage. You tried to turn me into one of you. And then you almost convinced me that it would make me happy. The day I married you was the worst day of my life. That's when everything started to fall apart. We were married? Oh, stop it! Of course we were married! You wouldn't leave me alone until I agreed to it! That's the reason why I was forced to do the only thing I could so you would... you would leave me alone. You... Divorced me. Caleb, I drove a stake straight through your heart. I don't understand how you're standing in front of me right right here, right now. I... Wow. To stand up on that stage and to think you have the pick of any girl out there. But what it would be like to be that desirable. Don't you dare mock me. 
I'm not mocking you. Actually, in a strange way, it's kind of romantic, isn't it? Caleb, you were a nightmare. Well, I suppose I should be insulted by all this, but it's not me you're talking about. I'm not this Caleb that you and all your friends think I am. I'm... It was you. I know your eyes. I wouldn't forget them if I lived to be a thousand. Well, obviously, I look like him. But sorry. I don't believe you. You know, there's... There's obviously some sort of uh, explanation, all right? They say everybody has a doppelganger. You know, uh, a twin that looks exactly like them. I saw yours tonight at the concert, and that was pretty amazing. No, she is not my twin. Well, I guess that's sort of my point. I... I obviously look like this guy, and I'm... I'm sorry he hurt you. But I'm not him. He's not me. I'm... I'm not a vampire or any other creature of the night. I'm... I'm just a musician, man. And I create my own sort of chaos, but I don't hurt people. Not like you say. God, you are a liar. All right, look. And <laughs> hey, we can stand out here all night and we can debate this. Why don't I just drop you off somewhere? I'm not getting in the car with you. All right, let me at least see if I can get your car started. I'm not leaving a woman alone out on some deserted road, even if she does say she hates me. You just, uh, you're just gonna let me go? What else would you like me to do with you? Have a nice trip. What? Suitcases. I just mean, have a nice trip. Of life. Kia, we challenged ourselves to create the perfect mid -size. Okay, doors locked. Check. Windows all locked. Check. And alarm set. Check. Okay, I need um, maybe a cup of tea. A little herb tea. No. I need Ian. Hi, Ian's machine. It's me, uh, Lucy. Um, I, I was just calling to see how your day was going. You know, your whole thing about how, what kind of time you're having, because I'm having a really strange. Actually, that's not true. I, w I was calling because I really needed to talk to somebody. And actually, that's not true, because I didn't really just want to talk to somebody. I wanted to talk to you. So I'm, I'm talking to your machine. And um, so just about now, you're probably ready to hang up, because I'm acting stranger than I normally act. It's saying a lot because I really act strange. Oh, Ian, it's this Caleb thing. This whole recurrence has got me freaked out. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. I can't decipher it, and I need to talk to you, and so I guess I will when you call me back, when you get this message, if you want to. Please call me back. Okay. Ta. Ugh. Wow. The truth is I'd rather talk to Ian's machine than anybody else in person. I just got a few questions. But don't scare her. I'm not so scared, Jack. Ian's a good man. Thank you, Tess. It's only gonna take a couple of minutes, all right? I said drop it, all right? Mm -hmm. Please. Mm -hmm. Tess, come here. I'm, I'm not... Mm -hmm. I'm not angry. Uh, dang it. What is she doing? Uh, that's the song she sings and hums when she's scared. She's been doing it ever since I met her. Ever since you met her? Yeah. What, she have a radio out there in the woods? Well, she was actually blown away when she first heard one. Then how does she know the song, Jack? It's the song that Caleb was singing tonight, and if she's not connected to him, how does she know it? I knew it. I knew the little bitch was evil. Shut up, Libby. She was sent by Caleb to torture me. Where are you? You're his messenger, aren't you? That's it, isn't it? Answer me! Answer me! Oh. I've been thinking about this 
all day. I'm so hungry for you. Mm, I didn't think you'd be able to make it. But I'm here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, did you, uh, did you hear that, honey? He's hungry. No. It's a good thing, because we're all going to dinner. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Poor Charles, Naked Eyes. And sign his pain impression. On the next Poor Charles. Sure you can um, handle dinner with a vampire? Oh, yeah. I'll be fine. Your heart still hurts because she, she died. If you do anything to this, I will come after you. Anna and Maria uncover David's secret at the beach, and what they discover is shocking. Don't miss All My Children today. Tonight, Bonnie faces her most unpredictable guest ever, Jonathan Winters. He has multiple personality disorder. Two of you should get along just fine. Then the critics call Claude pretty, charming, and irresistible. I envy you. Oh, I love you for saying that. Less than perfect, right after Life with Bonnie, all new tonight, starting at 9, 8 central on ABC.